What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we got ourselves a dope team for you guys today. Today, we are rocking out with one of my favorite Gen 8 Pokemon, Sandakana. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? Click that big red subscribe button and join the community. Huge shout out to each and every one of my subscribers. You guys are the real ones. You guys are definitely the real ones. But like I said, we're rocking out with Sandikana. He's such a cool Pokemon in my opinion. He's got a G-Max form. It rocks out pretty well and it doesn't get that much loving on the rank ladder. So hopefully we get to use it today and grab some wins with it. But let's get started here with today's team preview. Starting off in that top left corner with the one and only Sneak. We got Sandikana with sand spit ability alongside with the white herb as its item move set for him is going to be high horsepower for stab so an edge for our coverage move coil to set up that stab boost and last but not least we got protect on this pokemon second pokemon on the squad is going to be roll boom this roll boom right here is a different build of like a normal roll boom it's got grassy surge it's got the grassy seed so it gets that stab boost when it hops into the battle but then its move set over here is grassy guy darkest larry high horsepower and sword sands so we have a setup move, we have a stab move, and then we have two coverage moves. So this roll boom right here is made to do some big damage. It's made to Dynamax, it's made to get some work done and get after the battle that way. So hopefully we get to show him to his fullest potential and use him. Middle left is going to be Zacian. I'm not even going to say anything about it. It's a normal Zacian setup that everybody uses. Normal move set, normal item and ability. Let's move on. Fourth Pokemon on the squad is going to be Kyogre. We got Drizzle, Citrus Berry, and this is a normal Kyogre set too. Actually, Citrus Berry is a little different. You don't really see the Citrus Berry on it, but pretty normal with the move set. It's Origin Pulse, Ice Beam, Thunder, and Protect. Bottom left hand corner is going to be our Volt Absorb Thunderous. Love this Pokemon so much. Really, really strong. Really good in the Dynamax form. We got the Salt Vest as an item, and then we're rocking Rising Voltage for its stab move, Dark Pulse for coverage, Weather Ball for more coverage, and Grass Knot for even more coverage. <laughs> Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be our Lonesome Support Pokemon. It's going to be Indeedee over here with the Psychic Surge and the Safety Goggles. We got Expanded Force for Stab and then the three normal support moves for Indeedee, which is going to be Follow Me, Helping Hand, and Protect. Guys, you want to try this team for yourself? Do I even have to say it? The front code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with the Series 12 Sandikana team. Battle number one coming at you guys, and we're going up against a Regigigas, Groudon, and Shadow Rider Calyrex team. That also features, obviously, Weezing, because, you know, Regigigas does nothing without Weezing. And then he has, you know, the Regilecki Incineroar as his final two Pokemon. How are we going to go into this one? How should we play? I think Sandakana could be type nicer. I do like me some Sandakana action. Really good Pokemon all around. You know what? Let's lead him. Let's lead him. Let's have some fun with this one. We're going to lead that Pokemon alongside with, I'm thinking, Rillaboom could be good. I am thinking Rillaboom could be good. Zacian could be solid here as well. Or I can lead, uh, I definitely want to bring Kyogre and just kind of like play him in the back end and kind of take it for weather control. I could lead him, but I'm leaning more towards like a Rillaboom lead. I'm leaning towards a Rillaboom lead. I feel like Rillaboom could be nice. And then we just bring Kyogre and Zacian in the back end and we roll out from there. Sounds pretty good to me. Sounds pretty good to me. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. But yo, before battle number one even starts, let me know in the comment section down below for question of the day. What is your favorite typing in all of Pokemon? In all of Pokemon out of all, I don't even know how many typings there are anymore. Because, you know, they add too many. They add too many, but I love when they add typings. But out of all the typings, let me know in the comment section down below your guys' favorite typings. For me personally, I've always been a big fan of water. I've always been a big fan of grass. But I've really been growing on steel. I really do like steel typing. I don't know why. Probably because Excadrill. Yeah. Excadrill is so sick. And Durant's sick. There's a lot of cool steel typing. So let me know your guys' answers in the comment section down below. But he's going to end up leading these two. I'm cool with that. And this is, I was going to lead Zassian because of this. But I'm definitely cool with this. I'm definitely cool with this. I could take out the Weezing. I could definitely take out the Weezing, no problem. Kind of roll out from there. With the G-Max Spit. Could do that. Could do this. G-Max Sandblast. I'm cool with that. He might protect it, but we're just going to roll out from there. And do I want to go for a Swords Dance? I kind of want a Swords Dance here. I kind of want a Swords Dance up. Oh, exactly what I'm going to do. Exactly what I'm gonna do. So we're gonna we're gonna go for this nice little sword dance here. Hopefully he doesn't protect his uh, wheezing. So if he doesn't, we can take it out in one shot, and then my grassy turn can come out here. We can get our uh, grassy seeds rolling here as well. It could be good. It could definitely be good. But yeah, wrenching I guess is a, is a huge problem. Huge problem. Over here. <laughs> it's such a it's such pain. If this guy's gonna play it right, he might protect the wheezing. But there goes Dynamax for wrenching Gagas. Looking scary. Looking real scary. Looking real scary. He's probably going to drop a max strike on one of my Pokemon. Hopefully, it's the, uh, the Rillaboom. We're just, we're just kind of hoping he doesn't protect his, uh... We're just hoping he doesn't protect his boy. His Weezing here. 
It's kind of like my only hope here. Because I'm hoping the Santa kind of can just like, you know, max sand, spit this thing, KO it, and get rolling from there. That's what I'm hoping for. That's what I'm hoping for. Because we don't have any abilities. We have no abilities right now. No abilities. But there we go. Giant Snake getting the Dynamax. We'd love to see it. Regigigas is just so scary, man. I am scared of that thing. Let's see what he does. Hailstorm coming in. Oh, no. Leave me alone. Go after Robin. Goes after my Santa Can you eat that? You should be able to. Yeah, cool. Santa Kana eats that up. He changed up weather. I'm cool with that all day. I'm cool with that all day. Because now I have a sword stance rolling on my boy. Rolling on my Robin. Nothing shows he's orbed. I'm cool with that. And Sludge Bomb comes out here, too. Wow. We eat that up. No poison, please. Thank you. And now we're rolling. Sword stance out and about. Cling, cling, cling. We'd love to see it. And Sand Spit is coming out for some big old damage. Now they're going to take Buffets and Sand Blast damage, which is cool. But we're hoping we can KO this Weezing. We need this Weezing gone. Let's go. That takes him out. That's fine. It's beautiful. That is beautiful. We love that turn. We love that turn. Buffets coming out here. Cool, cool, cool. We have our terrain back in action. We can send some moves now. We can send some moves. We get a defense boost. That's gorgeous. That's lovely. Neutralizing gas is gone. Slow start back in action. We love it. We love it. That's a good turn for us. That's a great turn for us. I think he was banking on that hailstorm really taking me out, but my giant snake was like, nah, yo, not today. We're going to soak it up. We are going to soak it up. Nice little terrain popping. Work, and then the buffets are going to fly through. Buffets are flying through. Sandaconda, you're chilling. Man. You're chilling. But, yo, we get the HP back. <laughs> we get the HP back, which is nice. Good old grassy terrain. Neglecting the buffets. But still, did sand spit damage go through yet? I think it might have already did it. Oh, nope, there it is. There's my sand spit damage. I was waiting for it. I was waiting for it. <laughs> well, there we go. That's solid right there. Um, Who's he going to go into? Is the real question. We have Grassy Guide ready to roll. We have Grassy Guide ready to roll. He's going to go into Calyrex. He might protect Calyrex here. Would be a smart play. You know, from here, I'm just going to go into a uh, Sand Blast into you. And I'm just going to Grassy Guide straight into, straight into you. If he doesn't protect it, then he's going to die. But I think he might protect the Calyrex and go into a, uh, yeah, there it is. I should have read it. I should have read it. I was going for it a simple play. He's going to do that and then into a Hailstorm is probably his play. That's his play all day. That's his play all day. We're going to outspeed that thing now. Santa Con is going to go for Sand Blast. We love it. Chip up some more damage onto this guy. Let's go from there. I'm cool with that. I am cool with that. A little Sand Team damage. And then Hailstorm's going to fly and hopefully, hopefully, who's he going after? Hopefully my Robin can eat this. Go, roll, boom, yo. Reggie Gagas, absolute trash. Trash without the uh, without the neutralizing gas. It's so bad. It is so bad without it. It just is. It just is, man. It's just just garbage. <laughs> like when I use it, and once I get once I get rid of wheezing, it's like, dude, you lose. You lose. It's so tough. It's so tough. Because it's so powerful with the wheezing on the field with the neutralizing gas. But then without it, it's just like, dude, it just doesn't do enough damage. Just doesn't do enough damage. But, yo, Sand Tomb teeing off on my girl over there. Hopefully that thing is uh, Focus Ash because we just took it off. And then a Grassy Guide. I can just rip into that with that. So I'm with that all day. We're just going to go for this. Uh, we're going for the Rockfall. Sand Blast is going to do the most damage. So I'm just going to rip into that. And I'm just going to go for a Grassy Guide. That's my play. That is the Jeans play. Keep posing a threat onto that Shadow Rider. Keep posing a threat. But, yo, solid turns for us. Sand Account is getting out here doing some work. He's doing some work, dude. He's bulking shots. He took out the wheezing. He's chipping damage with the with the uh, sand tomb. And he's gonna swap here. He's gonna swap into his final Pokemon. It's going to be Groudon. Ooh, bad call, dude. Bad call. Real bad call. Real real bad call. You know that the Grassy Glide's coming in hot or plus two. You know what's coming in. You know what's coming. This is big old damage coming in hot. Look at that. Get him on out of here. Get him on out my face. We're not dealing with him. But I think it's like last kind of like play call here. It's like okay, I gotta take out the Robloom. And just have my uh, Shadow Rider Calyrex clutch up. And we're going to drop another Sand Blast here. Chip up some more damage. And who are you going to go after is the real question. Go for Max Strike. He's going to slow us down. Probably going after Roboom. Roboom, can you eat that? Roboom, I love you. I love you, Roboom. You're my best friend. Roboom's my best friend. Best friend. Soaking up shots. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. This is lovely. This is lovely. My White Herb finally comes into play. Cool. There's my White Herb. So White Herb comes into play, it returns our speed set to normal, it didn't really matter. And now he's going to bring out Calyrex, and I think we have one more turn left in the terrain. We might have two. If we have two, I'm going I'm going to Grassy Glide into him. Because I know my Santa Kana outspeeds that Regigigas. 
I think I have to do that regardless, right? High horsepower in the Regigigas, take him out. We know we outspeed him. And then just going through Grass Guide into the horse. Sounds like a great play, doesn't it? Sounds like a lovely play. But let's see how many turns is left in uh, the terrain. Even though I think regardless if it's one or two, we're still doing exactly what I just said. Grass Guide and high horsepower. Right? That's got to be our play. Oh, we have two. That's that's so gorgeous. That's so gorgeous. But yeah, high horsepower. Should be able to take you out. And then we'll keep posing that threat onto this uh, Shadow Rider Calyx with this Grassy Guide. He's going to cancel battle. There it is. Yeah, he cancels battle. Let's go. GG's. 1-0 to get the video started. First battle went perfectly. We dominated with the Sandicon and Robum, And we actually picked up a sweep. We did not bring in Zacian or Kai Ogre. We just swept it up with Robum and Sandaconda and dominated the battle. But we're hopping into our second one. Let's go back to back here. We're going up against a Shadow Rider Calyrex team with Zacian. And this Pokemon, I forget his name. Is it Aramatisse or something like that? Something like that. Something like that. It's that Pokemon right there. Then Milo Tick, Whimsicott, and Tabu Lele. Okay, how are we playing this one? How are we going into it? Uh, I feel like Sandaconda is not too bad here. I do like me some Sandicana, but Rillaboom is really, really good. I like Rillaboom in this situation, so I might end up leading the Rilly. And I could go Thunders as a lead. Thunders ain't too shabby as a lead. But I want to go in there. I'm definitely going to uh, lead the Rillaboom. I do like the Rilly. And then uh, second Pokemon could be... Could be Kyogre. Could be Kyogre, but I'm leaning more towards Thunders here. I'm leaning a bit more towards Thunders. I don't know why, but I am. But I am. Yeah, let's go Thunders with that Soul Fest. We'll bring Kyogre and Zacian in the back end. I'm with it all day long. All day long. But I think he might bring a uh, top of Lele just to kind of counteract my terrain. So we got to watch out for that. We have got to watch out for that. Even though we might just be Dynamax. We might just be Dynamax and Robin. Let's just see what he does. Let's just see how this one plays out. Let's see who he leads. I think Wimsky is probably going to come in for the lead. Which I don't really mind if Wimsky gets the lead. He's just going to probably tail in turn one and kind of roll from there. But let's see who he, who he goes alongside with it. Wimsky and Zass. Okay. Whimsy and Zass. Um, that's cool. That's cool. I could set up the sword stance, which I'm kind of leaning towards. I kind of lean towards setting up the sword stance. Sword stance could do us so good. It really could do us good. Grassy Charge coming out here. We do get a defense boost on Robin, which is huge, especially up against Zacian. So I'm a big fan of this turn. I'm a big fan of this lead. Defense boost coming out here. I have really, really am leaning towards this, uh, this sword stance. I'm really leaning towards it. It's either sword stance or Dynamax going to a max boost. But I think, I just think Sword Dance going to be your play. Sword Dance into maybe a Rising Voltage. We do Weather Ball for neutral attack. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? We know he's going to Tailwind. Like, like, we just know that's happening. Go on, chip up some damage. Like, what, what do I want to do here? I think we just chip up some damage onto, uh, onto what's it called? On the Whimsicott here. Because if we get off this Sword Stance, one Max Quake could just take out Zassi, no problem. And that's what I'm kind of leaning towards. Maybe we should have swapped. He's going to withdraw. Oh, he's going to withdraw Whimsy. Okay. He's going to withdraw Whimsy, and what's he going to go into? I think he thinks we're going to fake out. I think he thinks we're going to fake out. I'm, I'm cool with that turn. He swaps a Whimsicott. No Tailwind comes out here. We're dropping a nice little Weather Ball. We don't really need our terrain. We already got our defense boost. Because I think once we Sword Stance here, we can be thriving. He's going to go for a Blade. Go into... That's got to be into Thunders, right? It's gotta be in the Thunders. You're gonna be in the Robin. Robin should be able to soak pretty well. Do I still Dynamax him? That's the real question. Do I still Dynamax him? Do I still Dynamax this thing? I'm leaning towards it. I'm I, I can't though. He's gonna be even blame me. I can't. I can't. I can't do anything with this. Wow, dude, that's so tough. I can't do anything with that. I can't I cannot Dynamax him. I simply can't. We're going to have to double down and do this thing. That's such a tough turn. That's such a tough turn, dude. The Lele swap does this dirty. And I can't believe he went after my Robin with that blade. I'm surprised at that. I actually am. I thought for sure he would go after my Thunderous. Wow, that's tough. So now we're dead. Maybe he thinks we protect him and we get off a turn here. But there's no way. The thing is, if I Dynamax my Robin and he behemoths blades into me, we're dead. We're dead. Who's going for Thunderbolt? Someone's going for Thunderbolt. That, that works. Lele was going for Thunderbolt. Can that go after Thunders, please? Let's see. We have Volt Absorb. And there he goes by Robin. Okay, so Robin's dead. That's fine. We Volt Absorb. We wasted a turn from that. That's tough news. That's tough news. Real tough news. We know it. Yes, the one's got in the back. We're going to chip up some damage here with Rise of Voltage. And we're just going to go from here. Okay, so from here, Kyogre could come in hot. I do like me a Kyogre. 
I do like Mikai over here. Now the real question is, is Voltorb, uh... Hmm, it's only if he hits him. If he hits me. It's only if he hits me. Who do I want to go into here? That scene's not too shabby. That scene is not too shabby. I kind of want to save my Kyogre for the back. Yeah, I'm going to go into a Zassian of my own. I'm going to go into Zassian of my own. I'm going to try to drop Behemoth Blade onto his ult, him, his Zassian. This is tough. This is so tough, dude. Hate this game. Hate this game. I hate this game. All right. We're doing this. Behemoth Blade flying into this Pokemon. And I think we're just going to just roll into a Rising Voltage. Chip up some damage on the Lele. I really want to go into Kyogre, but it's just like we're sitting there. Kyogre's going to have to be our Dynamax Pokemon. Something along those lines. Thunderbolt comes out here. See, that's why I didn't want to deal with that. And hopefully my Zassian can outspeed. We do. Beautiful. Can we KO with this? This could be big time KO. If we can KO with this, this could be huge. Take him out. Take out the Zassian. Get out of here. Oh my lord. Ugh, I hate this game. Hate this game a lot. But he's play. Watch. He's going to be able to KO me. It's going to be so stupid. It's going to be so stupid. Watch this. Watch him KO me. What is this? Get out my face. I hate this game. I don't like this game one bit. Not one bit. Not one bit. Rising Voltage is flying now. God dang, dude. We didn't KO. We didn't KO. That could have been a huge KO. But now Kyogre's got to come out here. And now I have to decide who I'm going to Dynamax. Now I have to decide who I'm going to Dynamax here. And I'm kind of leaning towards the Thunder. Thunder could be solid. Could be solid. We have that as Soul Fest. Um, Drizzle's flying. Oh, it's tough. Thunderbolt's kind of scaring me. Thunderbolt is kind of scaring me. I kind of just want to go into a Hailstorm to take you out. But I want to see your speed. Hmm. Now, we're just going to drop it right now. We're just going to go straight into here. Hailstorm take you out, and... I really want to Dynamax you. We could just drop a Weather Ball. I mean, we'll double down. In, we're going to double down into, uh... Into Lele here. The reason I say this is because, uh... Zassian could protect. But, uh... Zassian, I think, goes down to the Buffet. So, we're going to double down on this Pokemon here. And just go from there. It's so tough. That is so tough. Can't believe my Zassian couldn't pick up the KO. A couple more HP, we would have been thriving. My Zassian would have still been alive. Could have been sitting in such a good position. Have her Kyogre in the back end, but now we're now we're in a hole. Now we're in a hole here. That's real tough. That's real tough. He goes for a Thunderbolt. We saw that coming all day. It's easy. It's not that much damage. Not that much damage. And uh Blade's gonna still come out here. A blade's still gonna come out here. And I wonder if he's going after Kyogre for the blades. I wonder. He is gonna go after Kyogre. That's fine. Not very effective, but dude, the damage. Come on, yo. Leave me alone with that. We have Citrus Berry. We'll be able to eat up a little bit. He still has Dynamax, which is definitely scary. And we're just going to get after the battle this way. So Lele is definitely going to go down here. We're going to Weather Ball beforehand. And this might actually KO, which could be cool. It does. Okay, that's cool. That KO is that dang dude. We should have went for a Geyser. Wow, that KO. That, that did some big damage. The Weather Ball works nice. Works nice in the rain. Now we have a Hail Weather Ball. Now we have an Ice Weather Ball. And this is looking tough for us. Because he still has that Dynamax, which is definitely scary. He does have Whimsicott. And an Ice Weather Ball could do some work on a Whimsicott. Could do some work. Because, you know, Buffett's going to fly through here. He'll probably bring it down to Sash. We definitely got to go into that. Thunder's going to take some Buffets. Kyogre's going to take some Buffets. And we're going to go from there. Okay, so he still has Dynamax. He's definitely not Dynamax and Whimsicott. He's going to Dynamax whatever Pokemon he decides to throw out here. And we're going to go from there. Let's see who he brings out. Whimsy, obviously. And then who's his fourth and final? Who is your fourth and final? Is it Shadow Rider? Didn't he have Shadow Rider? Yeah. Pshh. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. There's not even a word for it. Not even a word for it. That hurts. That one hurts. Okay, uh, from here. I kinda wanna guard. I kinda wanna guard, but you know, we're just gonna drop this hailstorm onto you. I'm gonna weather ball. Good dark pulse. We might double down to Calyx. We might have to. I think we have to double down to Calyrex. We have to get rid of this Pokemon. There's no way he protects. We have to get rid of him. He's going to Tailwind. Oh, no. He's going to Dynamax. I forgot he has Dynamax. I forgot this Pokemon has Dynamax. That actually might work in our favor. Because a double-hitting move could have did me so dirty. It could have did me dirty. So he Dynamaxes Cali. This little glass cannon over here. And we're hoping whoever he hits up on can eat up the shot. Which I don't think he can. Dude, Calyrex is... This Pokemon is scary, man. See what he does. Help. Oh, no. We're not eating up. We're not eating up. We're not eating up. Nobody's eating us up. Max Mines are coming in here. Who are you taking out? He's going to take out my Kyogre. Bye-bye, Kyogre. All day. Can Dark Pulse do some big work on this thing? Give me a crit. 
That's our only way. Is if we get like a crit, we take out this Calyrex here. That's our only way here. Grimnay, this thing's boosted now. Oh god. I don't like that one bit. Dark Pulse flying through here. Bang. Not enough. Not enough. Not enough. Not enough. We do have Assault Vest, but still, yo. Helping Hand and whatever move this thing's gonna use. That's scary. That is scary. Rain's gone, which is good. Doesn't really benefit us too much, but now we're just gonna go into a Dark Pulse here. Run it up. Run it up, yo. I need us to eat this up. But still, even if we eat it up, I think when we've got Moonblast, can do a decent amount of damage. But again, we have the Soul Vest, so we're soaking. We could soak. We could soak. I wonder what he's gonna do here. Helping hand. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah, leave me alone. Just leave me alone. Mindstorm coming in here again? Yeah. Somehow eat this up. And yeah, no shot. No shot. There it is, yo. Second battle comes in. We end up losing. We're sitting at one and one. But you guys know the deal. We're hopping into our third and final battle. Let's go grab ourselves a winning record in that one. Third and final battle coming at you guys. We ended up losing that last one, but it's okay. Let's grab ourselves a winning record here. We're going up against a Groudon and Zacian team. It also features Prankster, Sableye, another weather Pokemon, which is going to be Torkoal, another drought Pokemon, but I feel like that's only there for uh for Trick Room, and then he has Urshfu and Regilecki. Okay, how am I doing this one? Sandicon is looking real fine. He's looking real spiffy. He's looking real good. I'm not going to lie. Sandicon is looking real good, so I kind of want to lead him. I might Dynamax him here early on. We go Sandaconda and we could go Kyogre if we want to. But I'm leaning towards Sandaconda and Rillaboom. That combo works so good in battle number one. I feel like it's going to work good in battle number three. Then Kyogre's Ashen. Can't go wrong with it. We're going in with that same squad. We're locking it down. We're locking it in. I feel like Dynamax and Sandaconda right off the rip. It's looking good. It's looking good. But the Prankster Sable is a little scary. Prankster Sable I can definitely do a lot of different weird things that, that does scare me. But I feel like we should be fine. I really do think we should be fine. We have the Grassy Glide on my. Uh, my Rillaboom, he has no way of changing terrain unless he Dynamaxes. I do like it. I do like it. And most of the Pokemon that he can Dynamax can't really change terrain. Like, what's ground I'm going to do? Drop a Rock? Drop a Flare? Drop a Ground Move? None of, the, none of them change up terrain. None of them change up terrain. I feel like Groudon is going to be a Dynamax Pokemon. That or Regilecki. And if Regilecki is, I feel like we're fine because we have Sandaconda and Rillaboom out on the field. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. Let's grab ourselves a winning record for you guys. For the Jeans community, baby. For you guys. But um, who do I think he's going to lead? I think Regilecki might come out as a lead, but I think he's hoping that like Santa Conda's not going to come out. Let's just see what he does. Let's see my dude's play. Let's see what he's going to do. He's going to end up leading the Groudon and Sableye. Okay, so Groudon and Sableye come in here. Um, I think we just Grassy Glide right into that uh, right into that uh, Sableye. We get after the battle that way, and then we just go for a G-Max Sand Spit and get that damage roll. I do dig that. I do dig that turn a lot. Grassy Surge out and about. What do we just Dynamax? We could Dynamax Rillaboom. And drop a G-Max Drum Solo. We got a defense boost, too. That's looking pretty good. That is looking pretty good, but I just feel like the Grassy Glide is just where it's at right here. I could Coil. You know what? We're going to Coil. I'm going to Coil and set up my Sandaconda here. So I could definitely see a Swap or maybe like a Big Out coming in. That's going to be my play. I'm going to Grassy Glide onto this lovely little Sableye. And we're going to try to set up the Sandaconda. Because I can get a Defense Boost, an Attack Boost, and an Accuracy Boost. Accuracy Boost don't really matter. But the Attack and Defense Boost could be huge. Could be enormous. I do like that. I do like that. I was thinking about Swords Dancing and Coiling. And trying to set up one Pokemon and then Dynamax in the other one. But it could be tough. It definitely could be tough. So we'll see what he wants to do here. I think he's going to Dynamax the ground on. I really do. I don't know why. I just have an odd feeling. I think he's thinking about it. I think that's what he's thinking about. But yeah, he's going to withdraw. Oh, that's, that's money turn. That's money turn. That's money turn. That's money turn. He's going to bring out Torkoal. That's money turn. Money turn. And he doesn't pick out. That's money turn. We'd love this turn. We'd love this turn. We'd love this turn. Unless, unless Sableye's doing something weird. What's Sableye doing? What is Sable doing? Go for Foul Play. That's fine. Go over to my Robin. Thank you. Thank you. Very much. Let's sign Max Anaconda. Drop a ground move right into it. Drop a ground move right into that thing. We got a coil out and about, which is gorgeous. Dynamax. G Max Sandblast. Do that. And then just another Grassy God. Just another Grassy God. Just to chip up some more damage and then have the Sandblast chip it away. I'm with it, dude. This turn was solid. This turn was solid. So the coil setup was beautiful. We have my boy Rollboom just sitting there chipping up some damage with the Grassy God. But yeah, yo, this lead right here. Really, really good. I didn't, I, I didn't even know this was like a decent lead, but it's working. It's working real good because Santa Cana can do some work. They both have setup moves. 
I'm really liking it. I'm just digging it a lot. But we have Santa Kai on a plus one on defense, plus one on attack. We're Dynamax him or G Max him, whatever you want, whatever you prefer to say. And we're gonna roll out this battle. But I'm really surprised he brought the Torkoal. I'm seriously surprised he brought the Torkoal. I'm, I'm a little confused why he brought the Torkoal. He brought the Torkoal and the Groudon. I feel like Torkoal is only on that team for trickering purposes. But it's all good. I'm cool with it. He can make his own decisions. He's a grown man, probably. Or he might be a little kid. But he still can make his own decisions. <laughs> he can still make his own decisions. Santa Khan's gonna get Dynamax. Let's rock it. Let's roll out from here. This thing's gonna ally some. Yo, you son. Oh! That's actually scary. Loki scary. It's Loki scary. But we will be able to take out Sableye, which is good. Grass guy's gonna do like poopy, poopy damage. And the eruption's gonna fly. So that's actually a great play. That's actually a great play. Sableye's gonna fly through here. We're gonna say bye bye to Sables. Say bye bye. See you later. See you later. You gone. And now what do we do? Now what is our play? Burning Jealousy comes out. Okay, I'm cool with that. Robo was able to eat. Burning Jealousy and Sand Spit coming out here. That's gorgeous. Sand Spit comes out here. He makes me spit some sand. And we're going to change up the weather, which works better for us. So we do that. And now I think he just he's forced to bring back out Groudon. If he's forced to bring back out Groudon, I'm just going to Grace got in that slot. And I'm just going to uh, G-Max Sand Spit into the Torkoal slot. Look at that. A little sand to damage. Pick the turtle up and drop him down. We love it. We love the Santa damage. I wish it did do more like the G-Max Wildfire or the G-Max Iron Lash, but it's okay. It's okay, because usually you get the buff that's on top of that with Santa Kana, which works really, really well. But he's going to do this. Oh, this is kind of scary. I think we double down his ass in here. If we double down his ass. We might be able to eat up a blade. Like, we are... We are... What's it called? We are plus one on defense, both my Pokemon. And if he's going to go for a blade, he's going to drop it into Santa Kana. Like, we know that for a fact. We know that for a fact. So we're hoping we can eat it up. We're hoping we can roll out from there. I think we can eat up a blade. I really do think we can eat up a blade. I really do. I think it's going to bring us low, but I think we can eat it up and kind of get rolling here. Look at this. Look at this. Watch us eat this up. Watch my giant snake eat this up. Thanks to the coil. Let's go, coil. Do it dirty, coil. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir, Santa Kana. We love you. We love you. So we're going to take out Zassian. Zassian's gone. Zassian is gone. He's gone. We're doubling down into him. I don't care about this Torko, really. Torko can pick up the double kill if he wants, but he actually might not be able to come by Santa Kana. We do this. Later, Zassian. That is prime time, big time KO. And now he's forced to throw out Groudon. We have Kyogre in the back end. We can change up weather and kind of roll from there. Woo. We love it. We love it. Burn Jealousy comes through here. That takes out my Rillaboom, and I really don't want to go into my what's called just yet. I really don't want to go into my Kyogre just yet. I don't want my Kyogre to be uh, faster. Send out the rain and then he sends out the drought. It's just not happening. It's just not happening. We just won't allow it. We just won't allow it. So we'll bring out Zassian here. We know Zassian outspeeds Groudon. We know he outspeeds all that cool stuff. And we'll drop a high horsepower into the Torkoal and a Behemoth Blade into the Groudon. Lovely turn. We'd love it. We'd love it. We'd love it. We love it. It's a great turn. Great turns for us, yo. Santa Kana doing some work today. Like I said in the beginning of the video, very underrated. And you don't see him too much in uh, Series 12. You don't see him too much, but he's so good. He's so good, yo. He's doing so good. I feel like he's just like a situational Pokemon. Like, you have to get him in at the certain times, you know? So, we're going to drop that. We're going to go right into a Blade here. You, because he has to Dynamax Shroud on here. He has to Dynamax. So, we'll take a full advantage of this. Get that double damage rolling. And we'll be thriving here. He's going to have to take a Behemoth Blade. It's either he max guards... And then his Torkoal goes down to a G-Max Sandblast. Or he doesn't max guard. He takes Behemoth Blade. But either way, we're going to be able to roll into Kyogre in the back end later. And just pretty much clean up this battle. But yeah, he has Dynamax. He has Dynamax. Beautiful. There it is, yo. Double damage with the Behemoth Blade. We love it. We love it, yo. We're going to be able to grab ourselves a winning record. This is a lock. This is a lock. This one's in the bag. Now, I know I say it's in the bag a lot. And then sometimes we lose. But nah, this one is legit in the bag. That's like inside a bag. That's inside like three other bags. Like, you ever go to, like, the grocery store and how they have bags on bags on bags? That's how much this one's in the bag for us. Behemoth Blade flying. Big old damage coming through. Big old damage. Isn't even a word for it. Too much damage. It legit is. Like, look at that damage. Look at that damage. We love that damage. He's going to go for the Quake. He's going to probably take out Zassian, right? Probably take out Zassian, right? Yeah, Zassian's gone. He does get a special defense boost, but, dude, we're, th we're thriving with this. We are thriving with this. We'll be able to take out Torkoal, no problem. No problem whatsoever. And then my Kyogre comes in here and pretty much cleans up the battle, right? Looking real good. Looking real good for us. Sandblast flying through. 
Lovely little sandblast. Ah, uh, later, Torkoal. Later. Get that thing out of here. I think that I think this guy would have had like a better chance of winning this battle if he didn't bring Torkoal. Torkoal just seemed to not do it. He just seemed not to do it. He just seemed not to do it. But Santa is gonna go back up to uh I'm gonna go back up to what is it yellow and then my boy Kyogre is gonna come out here and clean up this battle we should be able to outspeed the ground on and even if we don't I don't think he can one shot me I don't think he can one shot me I really don't I really don't think he can one shot me you have rain pouring down just gorgeous and do I go for an ice beam instead nah origin pulse gotta be replied got my boy Santa Kana still alive dude still alive we'll drop a high horsepower and then in front of that, we'll drop an orange pulse. And I think Kyogre should be faster. Sometimes it cuts it close. Sometimes Groudon's faster, but most of the time Kyogre is. And we're gonna hope for Kyogre is. Just drop this orange pulse. Let's see how this one plays. Let's see how this one plays. I don't think he can take me out one shot. I really don't. Yeah, we outspeed. Bang. Big old damage. Enough to take him out. And like I said, this match was in the bag. It was in the bag. GG's. Let's get it, guys. Winning record yet again for you guys. GMAX Anaconda. So good. It is so good. Checks out my book. We grabbed ourselves a winning record today with Santa Cana team. Santa Cana and Rollboom were definitely a great lead. We also had the Sassy and the Kyogre in the back end just to do some big damage. We didn't get to use Ndidi, but we got to use Thunders a little bit and showcase him. But like I said, solid team, and I think Santa Cana is definitely an underrated Pokemon. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.